Now we are going to file the flats on the barrel. If, uh, if I didn't have a fancy new 2x72 grinder, thanks to Randy Mills, aka Newt's Leather and Metal Smithy, I would take a file and file this each flat while it's in the vise. But since I have a fancy new 2x72, I'm going to use that. Now I will spare you the noise and boringness of grinding all the flats on this. So we'll come back to you when that's finished. Getting there. Okay, here it is, rough ground. I think I may leave it like this to show that the barrel was hand forged. We got a little bit of cleanup work to do. Especially back here, making it even. So that's all the grinding on the barrel for now. So I got my 5 8 round bar here. This is just hot roll. What we're gonna do to make this breech plug is I got my guillotine tool here with the flat dies. We're gonna section off some material, create a nice sharp shoulder, and then form that into our tang. We'll take about an inch past. That'll be plenty. See, we've got that nice transition started. And it's bolting it out a little this way. It's good. Next, we will come in, where we go? We will come in this way and set down some material to draw out for the actual tang. I'm going to leave about three-eighths of an inch alone. got a shoulder and a shoulder and I just need to clean up the tang now. Uh, I forgot to turn on the camera but we're gonna run this back through the guillotine make this all one even thickness. To, uh, you'll see it's We've got a hump down here and it's almost in line up here. We're going to lay this tank down over the anvil and use shearing blows to move the top of this tank up so it mates with the top of the barrel. Nice and clean. Now to move that up. Oh yeah. More than enough. Well, there it is. There's plenty there for me to uh, file. Well, I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm not liking the way that turned out. So I am going to be redoing it in the next video.